this is where the dream began. I mean, you always, I, I started watching the Olympics when I was three or four, and I remember doing somersaults and flips off my couch watching gymnastics with my twin sister, and we'd always have this healthy sense of competition with each other, but, you know, it started, like, the actual competition started in high school, and, um, you know, I really started to take off as an athlete and also as a, um, as a student, and, and that's when I started to believe, okay, this is possible, you know, making an Olympic team is possible. I always thought it was either soccer or ice hockey, which is what I played in, in high school, um, and then that pivot after after college to rugby um, was the, the perfect uh, you know synergy and, and marriage of all the sports I've played. So you know that the coaches and again the teachers uh, started that that dream that it was possible and that I can reach for the stars and and have those dreams come true. She introduced herself to the class and I had them say something interesting about themselves and she said this: "My name is Alev Kelter and I'm going to the Olympics and I'm going to bring back our country a medal." <laughs> And I don't know, I have to tell you, um, she's now 33 years old. And uh, when that message came through my phone that she had won, her team had won the bronze medal, I can't tell you how absolutely um, heartfelt. Um, I knew she was going to do that. She is that kind of person. This is for us. Hell yeah. <laughs> Having the teachers, the support, the coaches um, at that young age where I'm finding who I am, you know, and they gave me the confidence to believe in myself, you know, and whether it was working through, you know, math problems or, or figuring out how to juggle a million things in high school, um, you know, it gave me the confidence to believe that I could be a high level athlete and also a great academic student as well. Like a dream going into this was the podium, and we knew it, we believed it, and we just had to show the world um, what we were capable of, and I believe. We did. And not only did we put Alaska on the map, but we put rugby on the map. And I just want to give a big shout out to that. So big, big round of applause for USA Rugby. What is the hardest hit you've taken while playing rugby? <laughs> hardest hit taken or given? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go for it. And, and not to be afraid of taking risks. I mean, I had to pivot and shift from ice hockey and soccer to, to rugby um, to kind of find my niche, find my, my passion. Um, don't be afraid to, uh, you know, start young. You know, like if you want to dream of being a judge or you want to dream of being a lawyer or you want to have that, be a doctor, like, do it. Start start learning what you need what it needs what you need to do to get to that spot. For me it was I want to be an Olympian and, and I started training like that in high school, started training like that in middle school. You know, it, it was I wasn't gonna let a, a no define me, you know, and if I didn't make it there was another way we can pivot and shift and and uh, and, and pay the new way. Don't be afraid to be a pioneer and, and reach for the stars.